ready? Yeah. Okay. Talk to me. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. Oh, you're right. Sorry. I let you in. And then you... And then I do. <laughs> I don't say anything. Yeah. Talk to me is <laughs> the newest horror film we've all been looking forward to from A24. This thing has been hyped to all get out, as the kids say, or is that an old saying now. yeah i don't, I don't know no it's been hyped for sure though. um if you've seen the trailer you know what this is about if you haven't it's about a party game gone wrong these kids get a hold of a hand of a dead medium mm -hmm. and they hold on to it they say talk to me and ghosts appear and you got 90 seconds to let go or bad things could happen. Um, these kids think it's like a rush and yeah. so fun and cool. And some people think it's bullshit. And, of course, problems ensue. Mm -hmm. Horror, uh, you know, takes over. So, um, this is a really hyped film yeah. for me. Um, me too. The most hyped movie of this year in the horror genre, for sure. Yeah. And so... My expectations were unfortunately like too high. Uh, I hate when that happens when when something's marketed to high heaven. My brother texts me like every five seconds telling me that he gets a talk to me uh, ad on his phone. Like he's getting so sick of it. But like I just been hearing nothing but praise for this. You know, like indie Australian horror film. That's like, you know, another thing too is like it was being marketed as like too scary and right. like crazy they over always, the top they and... always do that though from so many horror films it's always like the scariest film you've ever seen which is just bad marketing in my yeah. opinion but if it makes some money who am i to say it's all about that return right um so for me was this uh did this live up to the hype for me no um I just never felt that the film went hard enough. I, you know, one of the one of the aspects for sure, and this is my own fault, I suppose. You can barely avoid marketing at this point, uh, especially if you're going to the movies all the time. If you're, uh, you know, inundated uh, with horror advertisements and and being parts of horror groups and talking horror and all that, like, uh, of course, I'm going to see um, imagery or trailers or whatever. Um, so it's kind of impossible to avoid. And I really didn't get too much more out of this film than I did from the trailer. Um, the film is very dramatic. Mm -hmm. uh, but what do you think? Um, so I will say it didn't live up to the hype for me either, but I still pretty enjoyed the film quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I do think that it is very much like a drama centric film it's definitely horror still but i just found myself really sad <laughs> for a lot of it because of the content of like what the character is going through and um that's not that's not a knock at all no. it's just that i do think that the marketing i think that people will probably go into it expecting it to be like very, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't think they'll expect it to be like jump scary, but I think I do. Do you? I do. Hundred percent. I I do. I think that it's gonna. People will expect it to be maybe a little bit more like quick and fast as far as like the scares go, and I think that it's a. It, it draws things out more. It's definitely more about like the emotional investment and like the implications of what's happening, as well as like the symbolism there too, which we had talked about a little um, after the film, but. Uh, I overall liked it. I don't know if it'll make it in my top 10, but it, it, it could. I mean, I, th I think it's a really cool film. I'd love to rewatch it because um, I think it is a, a film that would serve upon rewatch just to like notice some things that I think were set up pretty well um, in the beginning and then kind of carry on throughout as far as like background motifs and stuff. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I think it's pretty evident from the trailer that this film is an allegory for drug use yeah that's what um, i was meaning but i wasn't i don't think that's a spoiler. I, I guess it's not i, I, a spoiler, I don't see how that's a spoiler but from, because the what i took from that i took from the trailer that's yeah. what i got from the trailer and that's what i got from the film 
Um, but I know I definitely don't want to downplay something that we've talked about plenty of times in the past when it comes to dramatic horror films. I mean, mm. most often times those are my favorite films of the year: Hereditary, Midsommar, freaking whatever. Right? Like this is a twenty-four, so we're to expect a slower burn. We're yeah. to expect, you know, non-traditional. Um, jump scare type horror of mo- of the modern age, right? Like that's that's what I expected. I just wanted, and and of course that's always going to be an issue. What I wanted versus mm-hmm. what I got. I try not to be that guy, and and I think people know from watching this channel enough that I am not that guy. I really, just let a movie be it, what it is. But for my own personal taste, I can't not let those influence my opinion of a film and with a film like this when we get into the horror aspects when we get into what we're really there for um the demonic possession the hand holding and like the the transference of of this this thing over to them for this 90 second period and whatever this movie just doesn't offer anything in the demonic possession ghost filmography that I haven't seen a thousand times mm. before. The horror in this is very standard fare for me. Mm. Now, the drama and the and the acting and you know the dramatic aspects of the film do work well because it's well acted. It's uh, it's fairly well written, even though I did find the film to be rather predictable. Um, I didn't knock it that much for the predictability because predictability isn't always a bad thing, especially when it comes to someone who's seen, you know, 10,000 films like me. It's very hard to feel, um, you know, unique or original or any of those things. I'm I'm usually going to figure out your film pretty quickly, but that's because I've seen too many things. So I try not to knock films for predictability. It's just the execution of the predictability that is what affects my my viewing experience. And with this film, it just it didn't land the horror the way I wanted. And that's, of course, when I'm going to a horror movie as the horror guy, that's the thing I care the most about, right? And while the dramatic stuff works well it because of its predictability and the lack of the horror being this kind of like more grandiose bombastic in your face crazy insane thing that i was hoping for and definitely did not get the horror is a much smaller scale um i I don't know i just i just definitely felt fairly underwhelmed with those aspects of the film you know when the credits rolled i just kind of was i had figured the ending was probably going to be what it was very Mm -hmm. uh far before that which isn't a bad thing because i think the ending is good and 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 it fits the film and it and it's a solid ending for the film it works it makes sense it's good It's, it's not a knock it's just it didn't wow me when mm-hmm. I watched it, right? I didn't sit there. I didn't sit there at any point being like, holy shit, right? Like, when I watched Hereditary, I was entranced the entire time I watched it. And I don't want to compare this to Hereditary, but I just feel because we are talking about A24, because we are talking about a similar kind of tone where it's very family, horror-centric drama type stuff, Yeah, it's hard not to liken it to something along the lines of a Hereditary and I know that this film is kind of getting likened to it uh, in its hype mm. because it's like, this is this is this year's Hereditary or this is this year's, you know, fill in the blank of these kinds of movies. And it's just never achieved that level for me. And, and hype plays a factor for sure. But I just don't see on, on subsequent viewings um, this coming up all that much for me. I might like it a little more, but... I, I definitely have a level of horror that I that I would want, right? Because the film just never is that messed up, and I, I the stakes never felt that high to me. And there's characters who just kind of like go away, and it's like there should be way more going on with that. Like if you take a movie like Truth or Dare, right? Did yeah. I? Do you ever watch Truth or Dare? Yeah. I showed it to you. Mm-hmm. In that movie, 
that's kind of what I expected. I know people are going to be like, oh my God, what is he talking about? That movie's horrible. No. What I mean is like, once things start going bad for people, yeah. like the stakes are very high. Yeah. You know, whether you like the movie or not, the stupid faces, I get it. It's, it's not the greatest movie ever. But when people are possessed, once the truth or dare thing kicks in, yeah. there's a super high level of stakes that are going on yeah. that I felt tension throughout. And there's so many people involved and there's so many people that feel like they're, at, they're in, uh, being threatened. And in this film, it's just so much smaller scale. Yeah. And I just, because it's this party game and there's so many people involved, I just thought that this was going to go way bigger and it's just so small and self-contained and intimate. I don't know. I, I've talked way too much. I apologize. I just, I, I had to get my, I had to air my thoughts because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what about this film I didn't like. We do stream of consciousness. We, we don't write anything down, as you guys know, and I, I'm just kind of talking it through out loud with you guys to try to understand why I had such an issue with the movie. I think it was pretty messed up, actually, but maybe in a different way than what you're meaning. Um, I thought that there was, like, behavior and things that happened that were, like, really not cool and very, like, upsetting when you thought, like, when you take them into, like, context and, like, what's actually happening. And I also think that it is actually, a, it, the movie is intimate and small, but I think that there is a larger, like, scale happening as well in the background. But I think that it works for the film because it's, like, following, you know, specific people that, in, I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be big scale. So I guess it's just that I didn't have that, like, notion in my head going into it that there was going to be like a ton of people involved or whatever. It's not even about what I was or, going into. It's just how the movie was playing out and all the people that are touching it and all the people that are involved. Yeah. And then they're just kind of not. But I think that like... I don't know. I don't want to get into, I guess, like, I don't want to get into spoilers, but if we're talking about, like, drug addiction as a parallel, right, like, not everybody that tries hard drugs gets, like, majorly addicted to them and ruins their life. Yeah. So, that's kind of the same thing that happens in this film in a way, where there's, like, specific people that are affected by it majorly, and other people are able to dabble with something super dangerous and then walk away from it without having anything, like, really harmful happen to them. So it's like, it's unfair, but that's kind of how life is sometimes. So I don't know. I, I didn't mind that, um, especially with how things are treated. And I feel like we're kind of talking around points because we're not trying to do spoilers. But I, I enjoyed it. I think that it's a good film. I think that yeah. it's a really good film. I don't, you know, I know we were like trying not to compare it to like Hereditary or something, but Hereditary is also one of my favorite films. So it's not that level for me. But I still thought it was really great, and I would love to rewatch it. I think that the acting, like we already said, was really good. I loved the the main girl's performance. I thought that she was like really adorable, and then just not that that wasn't like her character wasn't meant to be like super cutesy or anything. But I just like really liked her aesthetic and look, and then I just liked how she was performing throughout. I really like the look of the demonic things that happen. It definitely had like Evil Dead meets like The Shining vibes for a lot of it. Um, but I enjoyed that. And yeah. I think what you said about the drug stuff is cool um, and, and definitely fair. So I'll give you that. I just, I don't know, man. Uh, maybe on a second viewing. But I, I do want to... I do want to make sure that I that I clarify here that I recommend the film. I think it's good. Um, I think it's actually pretty good. Like even potentially very good. I I and I wouldn't have a problem like you said. Like I don't have any problem with anybody thinking this is great. I don't have a problem with anybody thinking anything's great. If you think a movie's great, that's awesome. I'm glad, honestly. But like I see the appeal of the film. And I do think it's a good, I think it's a good movie and I think it's worth a watch for sure. And your, you know, um, opinion obviously is going to be your own. So I I don't know. I I recommend the film. This isn't one of those times where I'm like, oh my God, overhyped, wait for VOD. That's not it. I, I still think you should see it in theaters. I just think that when it comes to the horror, especially if you're someone who's more into like, the conjuring or insidious or mm. the jump scare kind of films where like a lot of tension is, is built up and then there's like things being thrown at the screen. You're screaming. There was 
zero. There, we had yeah, a that's... completely packed theater, 100%. Yeah. And almost everybody in that theater was like in their 20s or even younger. They were that prime audience. There was a lot of laughing, right? There's because there was a humor. good amount of humor yeah. in the movie, which it's they're not... laughing at what was actually funny, yeah, right? Like, so the humor like... works. Yeah. There are some scenes that are just kind of like Awkwardly awkward. Funny. Yeah, but, but they're they're kind they're supposed to be unsettling. Yes, but it's in that like awkward kind of unsettling. Yeah, and so there was definitely people who were like laughing uncomfortably, but that's what it was going for. So it landed what it was going for there. Yeah, but as far as like the scares go, and it's possible everyone was too scared to scream. <laughs> I guess I don't. I didn't get that vibe at all. There was zero screams, yeah. zero jumps in my entire theater. I don't know, man. It just was. It's not that kind of a film. It's definitely not a jump scare film. It's not, it's, but it's not. It just. I didn't get the feeling. Did you get the feeling that people in the audience were scared? I can. You're not very aware of that kind of stuff, I don't think. No. But I'm very intuitive when it comes to the people around me, and I was not getting that like bated breath, more tense breathing, yeah, more I, stiffness I in the know. crowd. I, I don't know. There were, I think that there are a couple moments in the film that I thought were genuinely scary. But I do think that the tone is more like tragic. Sure. And very That stuff's great. And stuff. That stuff's but great. I, I do think that there's, I mean, there's definitely horror elements in it. There's, a, yes. there's several scenes that I thought were like absolutely genuinely there's scary plenty of horror so, in the movie but it, it just isn't a jump scare like it's not it it doesn't build tension like that which i mean i think that obviously horror fans like we like that you like the like the buildup of the adrenaline and then the release when something finally like happens and like pops out at you or there's a stinger you think or i'm some advocate for but jump scares no i no, am not i know you're not i'm not saying that you are i'm just saying that this is definitely not like, it just isn't that kind of film. So, like, what you were saying about, like, people who are, like, huge fans of, like, The Conjuring or Insidious or those types of movies, I think will be dis maybe disappointed if that's the, like, style that you typically prefer. Because this has a lot of elements that you could translate into something like that, but it just, it doesn't go for that at all. <laughs> yeah. So. So, I mean, I think we said our piece on this, and this time we didn't really reiterate ourselves too much. I feel like we stuck to the points and moved on and, and <laughs> i'm happy about that so that's that uh definitely let us know if you view it if you got anything more to say on that <laughs> um but yes it's a recommendation from both of us she liked it more than me for sure i think that it is a good film but i am not one to at the moment call it some classic that people are going to remember and it's going to be brought up in like the best films of the decade or anything i think it'll be like one you know one of those pretty good movies or, or, or you know pretty good movies that came out during the 2020s that's that's for me so yeah, um know. just the level of hype was like this is gonna be the best movie of the year yeah this is gonna it's, be it's this not is that gonna be for me. That. and it's just not I, I had really high expectations you even too. said you you don't even know if this movie's gonna make your top 10 I, well, because you it made would me be in your top guess. ten right now. You may, yeah, you made me second guess it because I was like questioning you, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I wouldn't make my top 10. I was like, "Really?" And you're like, "Well, yeah, we have so much more stuff to come out this year." And so yeah. then I was like, "Okay, well, yeah, maybe not." Like it, but it, if it could, it still could. It's still definitely something that so far of the year, like I do think it's one of the better horror films that we've gotten this year. You know, I mean, I'm not on, gonna rank it or anything. On Letterbox, yet, but... it'll get like a four out of five for me. Yeah. It's it's good. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's just the expectations were too high. Yeah. I prefaced that coming in, and I'm sticking with it going out. Yeah. The expectations for me were too high. It's a very good movie that I'm underwhelmed with because I expected it to be my favorite movie of the year. Yeah. My fault. It's okay. So there we go. That's it. I'm done. Mm. Anything more? No. All right. You gotta blow the candle out and <laughs> release the hand. You release the hand first. We don't. We don't. What is this? This is an arm wrestle. <laughs> Fucking talk to me. More like friggin' wrestle. Arm wrestle me. <laughs> and then. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.